Hi, I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Melissa Sandwich. And welcome to... The BS on the Internet. Well, it's been another one of those weeks. Hey, is it? Has indeed. It's been a crazy week for gaming. Yeah, a lot of gaming stuff this week. Yeah, I was really thinking about that as we were putting this together. I was like, wow, a lot of like gaming tech type yeah, stuff going yeah. on here this week. Yeah. So, mm, my we goodness. We picked up a few things to talk about. Yeah. So what are we starting with? So at the time that we're recording this, it's Friday night. And just a couple hours ago, it came out that Telltale is closing closing yeah like i can't even wrap my head around it i didn't see this coming i didn't know they were struggling no no me neither but first they said they were doing a massive layoff like 25 people and that started to happen like mid-afternoon people were kind of yapping about it so i was like oh no you know but at least they're there you know sometimes this happens it's so sad but you know as long as they're still chucking things out and then it was confirmed that they just closed the whole studio so they have uh, like a skeleton crew on right now that's going to finish up the walking dead but then no more Wolf Among Us. I was so like, looking for the Wolf Among Us too. I loved the Wolf Among Us. I thought I that game was and Stranger awesome. Stranger Things, yeah, they and were Stranger going to do Things looked really things. cool. Yeah, Just canceled. Yeah, I know. Just straight up, okay. Wolf Among Us two and Stranger Things canceled. Now, well, we're. I mean, this is a big deal. I remember yeah. Telltale. Um, the first thing I ever remembered seeing from Telltale was Sam and Max when they revived oh the Sam God. and Max franchise. Yeah. Uh, from Sam Max hit the road back in the 90s. Right. So, and I loved that game, that mm-hmm. LucasArts game of the 90s. So when Telltale Good. picked it up and decided to continue it, I was so psyched. And they did awesome. I couldn't get that into it. No way, I thought Because it was were. different voices. And I was so Aww. attached to the original characters. I didn't know that. And the newer voices were good, but like, I don't know. It was just, I just came to it from too much of a nostalgic angle. Wow. But I did play some of it. I, I still really, I still did enjoy it. It yeah, was just, that was always off putting yourself. for me. But yeah. there were a bunch of episodes and I didn't play them all. Right. Uh, however, The Walking Have Dead to- was fantastic. Oh we didn't finish it. Um, oh. I still would really like to. Yeah. But uh, played uh, uh, several seasons and played um, a Thousand Days yeah. and, um, and really enjoyed those games. Wolf Among Us, the first oh, one i loved that one i know we you played know? it before the channel started yeah and uh just like you know with each other we just you know yeah. went through the whole thing and gosh i loved that game and we never played um uh what was the uh they did game of thrones the borderlands one we never played which borderlands? apparently is fantastic yes. oh my gosh never yeah, really, they i kept really, hearing how good that was well you know what i, I they were pretty saw, prolific for a while there yeah yeah well what i'm hearing is that they had this particular studio worked their staff to death Ah, to the bone like really was trying they were trying to get them to chug games out keep hearing this yeah like they were having them work too too hard to try and get as much content out as they could as fast as they could and at like great personal turmoil to the staff because they were there like weekends nights you know overnight sometimes working really hard some of them uh who were laid off are tweeting tonight saying yeah. that you know they weren't paid overtime no severance no severance yeah i mean there's people that have been working like crazy hours <sighs> insane and unreasonable hours and didn't even get a severance they and like you know you lose your job i guess they also lose your benefit you lose your insurance so if you no. to come out with no severance that is just totally leaving you out there like figure it out i mean that's yeah. that's a really bad situation um the, there's we see this way too much Right. In the games industry, we keep hearing stuff like this. And like yeah. studios, remember Ellie Noir, how good that was? And the story started to come out yeah. for how badly they were abused. Right. Like, it was just working really. And it sucks because these people who are working on these games, this is their art. Yeah. They absolutely want to see it through to completion. And they're working and they their dream job, job that yeah. they've tried to work so hard to get to. Right. So there's nowhere else to go. There's nothing else to do. You have to you have to just eat this kind of treatment. Yeah, it's like golden handcuffs. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's, uh, it's terrible. And I, I really hope that over the next, like, number of years, however long it's going to take, that there's some sort of standards put in place that can prevent this kind of thing from happening. But know. who knows? I, I feel like need, we're far away. I, I think it would need to happen at least in the states across the board completely because people yeah, in the in the united states it has to be an industry thing yeah yeah well just and not just an industry thing but in general just people in the united states and students as well are worked so hard and people are under so much stress and our work days are really long and you know it's it it like shows strength somehow like if you work yourself to the bone or whatever then like you're cool and you're a go-getter and you work hard and everything but you're like exhausted and malnourished sometimes and you're like low on sleep so i feel like there needs to be a complete attitude shift but that's also part of 
the gaming uh, atmosphere anyway, where there's yeah, always I like mean, a hot new game. You got to yeah. get your moment. You got to stay in it, and you got to keep your audience because then people are going to move on. It's like YouTube. Yeah, well, you know? it's, like, it's, gotta, like it's, it's like music. It's like movies. It's like it's the entertainment the industry thing. in general, you know. Yeah. And I yeah. see, I see what you're saying about like uh, like uh, people and like working in America overall. But this particular industry, oh, for sure. in contrast, yeah. is a whole different ball of wax yeah. from the rest of the country, the I rest would of the industry. Put industries. it on par with like uh, medical. Even, yeah, maybe, you know? maybe that, and that's saving people's lives. Yeah. But I mean, like, yeah, there's something about the industry. I think it's too new, mm. and there's too much money in it. Yeah. I mean, I th- what was it last year? They made more money than music and movies combined. I think so. The gaming industry. Yeah, yeah. So like, there's like it's such cute. a such an intent on forcing the stuff out the door with like zero worry about consequences. The people actually doing the work, and it's just something that's gonna have to change. It, it can't. This is not something that can sustain itself forever. There's gonna right. be. There's going to be a blowback, but as far as the um, the the franchises that we're losing here, um, I'm hoping that somebody can snatch them up. I'm hoping somebody buys the rights. Oh yeah. yeah. And just maybe gets either the same crew or similar crew or something like that. I mean, you'd hope the same writers at least. Sure. But I mean, you obviously would hope the same people working on it in that general. Nice. Like if they, if they buy the rights to it, they're going to want the game to be and similar, so they want to hire will. those people in. Yeah. They'll see this backlash. It's all over Twitter right now. Yeah. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's devastated. I mean, if they run out of money, they run out of money, right? Yeah. So I mean, you that's unfortunately the truth of the situation they can't keep operating if there's no more money yeah, yeah. but there are other companies with a lot of money the problem is uh <sighs> they would have to see it a, in a different way that they think they could turn it profitable because mm-hmm. it clearly didn't end up being right and not profitable enough right. i mean unless there was some wrongdoing which we have no evidence of and i don't want to even don't like speculate on that but it's a shame i mean at the bottom line it's a shame i, I hate here we hear about this every year yeah of a couple studios per year yeah uh and every now and then a big one yeah cl- Closing and a lot of people out of a job right. and you just hope that you hope they can find something and hope they can get back on their feet and hope they can start contributing and giving us some more of what they do so well because yeah. a lot of people clearly still really want it you know, you know I, I feel so bad when I, I think like just through the grapevine people are saying that like uh, mismanagement money mismanagement yep. has plagued the studio for a while okay so I mean which would explain no, no severance yeah you know I mean the fact that they thought that that was okay I I guess they just wanted to keep the studio running at any cost. At any cost, including thinking maybe if we their, put another the game out, we'll get it. the money back, yeah, you yeah. know, and maybe we'll be able to, you know. Yeah. But the it line looks should like, have been drawn earlier if that's what yes, happened. That's you know? exactly what Absolutely. I mean. Yeah, for and sure. And that's mismanagement, yeah. But yeah. you know, the good news for the franchises means that perhaps there's a company with much better management maybe. that can take these franchises and so. understand what they're good at, understand what gets people playing them and what brings the money back in. Yeah. So uh, hopefully these get in the right hands because I, re- I really want to play Wolf Among Us too. I really, really want to play Wolf. Look among at us this. Too. The Walking Dead final season will not be completed. I thought that oh. was. I thought that they left a skeleton crew on, on skeleton crew on in order to they, complete oh, that. Oh, we previously reported oh. this was inaccurate. Oh no! Oh my god! Sources who wish to remain anonymous explain that there is a skeleton crew at Telltale, but they will be working on the Minecraft, Minecraft. story mode for Netflix. Well, the money's in Netflix. In fact, the Walking Dead team was also laid off today, and the Walking Dead final season will not be completed. Are you kidding me? Wow. After all these seasons, after building this character up from this young age, how can you just not then, finish it? Wait a minute, it? wait a minute, wait a minute. Then update three, they issued a statement announcing that a small team of 25. To fulfill the company's update obligations to its board and partners. Oh, okay, so wow, this is really like formatted, very strange. Okay, so update four. This is the most recent one, right? Okay. Uh, okay, so the up the the, the latest news is at the top. Got okay, it. yeah. So, okay, so the Walking Dead final season will not be complete. That's the yeah. latest update. Oh is that God. it? Well, and it's uh, about ten o'clock at night right now. So it's I'm ten o'clock at night on nothing. Friday. So I really hope by the time you guys are watching this on Sunday that that has changed. I hope so. I really hope. I'm so that sad is, about this. Oh no! Wait, wow. how can you just leave that series? It's one thing there would be a one season oh of The Wolf Among Us. You know. Oh my God. It's one thing for there to be one, and then like, I don't know. Holy why crap! Did they let that's it get that terrible. Far? Why did they let it get that far? And why do so many games if like? It's like they just I said think, yes to everything. Yeah, they just why, wanted to do everything, and they didn't think it through, and they didn't think about paying their staff. They probably stretched themselves too thin. Working them out, they gave them like impossible yeah. deadlines, and yeah. were trying to just chuck it out, chuck it out. They just seemed like they were cranking out games like crazy. They were. They were and I know they—they they clearly their their uh, 
their goal at one point in time ended up being let's get our hands in as many franchises as possible guardians of the galaxy yeah! game of thrones you know everything all over the place uh borderlands and we'll do this and we'll just explode it'll be this thing we'll make games about everything and uh, it's it's entirely plausible to believe that maybe they just that was costing too spread much money too thin. spread themselves too thin they were probably better being a smaller studio only sticking to select few franchises it's like the it's like marketing 101 right uh, yeah. like you, you make your like lower your amount of skews yeah, yeah. you know oh, like less skews start with yeah. like one and then two and then be really careful yeah. you're gonna add more that's like going, don't just uh, blow it up yeah it's yeah. like going to a restaurant with a really big menu yeah you ever go to a restaurant with like pages diners or like yeah just, diners just yeah and it's like you can't do everything on this menu yeah. like, really well you can't right? be that great at everything yeah, give me like I a guess. menu with 10 items that you kick ass exactly, with you know exactly. and then that's it boil it down boil yeah it and down. i feel the same way about game companies right, for right. sure all right uh, moving on I'm, I'm so bummed. sad i am so bummed oh next so ninja is the first gamer that um uh, was on the cover of espn the magazine yeah i thought this was super interesting regardless of what you think about ninja uh himself as a person, as a or, person or as a whatever. gamer or you're a team tifu or whatever i mean like it's it's the super cool that uh this now we have a gamer on the cover of espn as a as a gamer and as a fan of gaming and as a growing fan of esports in general right um it we're seeing it i mean like we were just talking about this recently that yeah. esports were about the pop and yeah. like now stuff like this is happening mm -hmm. right after we start talking about some of that right. stuff i mean right this is the, it's it's happening very quickly Predictably, there's a lot of backlash. I looked at like the response to the tweet that ESPN put out, and some people were like, "How about like real sports?" It's like, this guys, like, like really there's darts, there's bowling, there's chess, there's pool, there's I mean, all sorts of stuff, and and there's video games and video games even as a like it's just a medium yeah. it really depends on what game yeah because they're completely different things with completely I, different yeah, ways I of agree. thinking completely different skills yeah. but we're seeing now it's hitting the mainstream it's it's going big i we're gonna start seeing tons of money poured into leagues yeah. and we're gonna and like overwatch league is already huge they're playing mm -hmm. stadiums across yeah, the country yeah. it's crazy well you know what i'm worried about with this is do you remember a couple weeks ago we were talking about the mental health yes of these really popular yeah that's how we got on the subject or yeah, streamers, you know, yeah. we'll get there. People, there was one that you said his house got shot up. Oh, Doctor Disrespect! You guys see yeah, that one? Like what? He, uh, it was happening? apparently it was like a BB gun. It doesn't freaking matter. His yeah, uh, his yeah. car was vandalized. It broke windows in his car and shot through a broke a window. You know, uh, while he was streaming. Yeah. And it's like, man, I mean, some people <laughs> are just like real. Like I'm so surprised how people have like the presence of mind to think i'm gonna tweet him something nasty and tell him he sucks well and people he do that go play a real that's, sport, that's a social media problem you know? or like can't, yeah but you just know? the idea like i feel like it's going to take a while yeah. for this to catch on as a regular it's gonna take generations thing. it's gonna take generations right but until then these people they really need to be hard yes really hard yeah they know? need to be mentally tough um and you you get like the guys that do really well mm -hmm. don't don't get very emotional generally right i mean like he's an emotional dude ninja's an emotional dude right but sure. he seems like he's emotional in in a competition sense right right, right. he seems like dealing with oh, all sure. the other attention he's getting he seems to be dealing pretty well with all that right right you it's know competition yeah, yeah like the polygon article went up and like he just kind of like letting it roll off and continuing with his life yeah he didn't freak out about it so i guess for someone if you're going to pick any of these guys and have them be the first one on the cover of espn magazine you could do a lot worse right honestly you know there's yeah. a lot of like, like more difficult personalities right. than him to of be course. doing this. You and, know? and who's to say that, say you were in his place and you were really good at a video game and it's like, hey, I could go pro. Would you say to yourself, I should be playing basketball instead? No. A real sport. No, you want to like, do what you're good at. Nobody would do that. Like, whoever nobody you are, that, yeah, you know? whoever you are, whatever you're into, yeah. you would love to do what you're good at. I mean, yeah. you always talk about doing what you love, and you know, obviously, involved. but yeah. what you love often ends up being what you're good at because you love it so much, you, tr you spend a lot of time doing it. Yeah. And you would love to be able to do for a living what you are good at. Nobody sure. wants to do something they're bad at for a living. So mm -hmm. if they yeah, he happens to be very good at video games. Yeah. So he's got, and he was in the right place at the right time, lightning struck, and he is where he is now. Right. And he's taken full advantage good of it. Good for you, man. I don't hate this dude at all for that. Good you for know, you. He's, he's doing it. And um, it's pretty interesting. I watched a little bit of the interview. It was Ariel Hawani did oh the interview, which was pretty cool. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and uh, and it was interesting. You know, he asked us some pretty good questions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, 
seems to be all, so much of it is fashioned around like a lot of people are going to watch this that don't understand what you do. Yeah, yeah. You know, and like don't get how you can make money doing a lot this. A people don't get it, yeah. And so the way it's being presented to the world right now so far is in that shell yeah like you know kind of like when ufc came up like in the in the early yeah. ufc where every single fight you watched the whole thing was like school right. like the announcers the whole time like well you see what he's doing now is he's right. going for side control uh, at this point he may yeah. want to do but and like yeah. just so you understand what you're looking at and they're going to yeah. take the approach to this where they're going to be like you see what these people are doing and what they're thinking about and why this is impressive and yeah so people that are interested are going to ha start having more ways to get into this. Right. I, I, I kind of am interested now that I guess we're going to start seeing some more gamers occasionally on the cover of ESPN and the magazine. Maybe. I don't know if they're going to do this one a year, maybe one a quarter, one because there's only 12, well, 12 covers you can have a year, it, right? Uh, yeah. It depends on how it blows up. Yeah. You know, yeah. and if there's another game that blows up and somebody else, another ninja, if you yeah. will, for another game or whatever. You it know, would be interesting because it's, it's inevitable that, you know, um, some other gaming personality is going to blow up to this level again. Again. There's sure. going to be another one eventually, yeah. you know, and it'd be crazy to see how that is received, where the state of esports and media covering esports is in when that happens, because mm -hmm. that might be a much that might even be a bigger thing at that point. Yeah, you know, yeah. If things continue the way they're going. For sure. Interesting. Yeah, I'm curious what you guys think about this whole thing. What do you think about Ninja being on the cover of ESPN the magazine, and what do you think about ESPN apparently getting into covering esports? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's a little setup. Yeah, he's got some crazy sponsorships, and he makes oh, off subscriptions alone, he makes an estimated three hundred thousand dollars a month. Um. Yeah. Come on. Month. Who would who would not do this? And that's not counting sponsorships. And he's you getting know, loads yeah. of those. He's sponsored by Samsung now. Yeah. Yeah. That's Good crazy. for you, man. Yeah. I, seriously, do it, dude. I just you know whatever you know whatever you're good at, do. Everybody deserves that. You know, yeah. to be able to succeed at something that they're really, really good at. Yeah. You know, and to practice really hard. I feel like everybody needs that yeah, if, shot if, or if, that uh, opportunity to yeah, do that. Yeah. If like the state of the world happens to be in the place where yeah, you can make a lot of money, and, it yeah. does. You have to be right place, right time. Right. You know, you have to happen to be good at the thing that's popular. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But he is, and this is where we are. Bravo. Okay. Next up, this I am so nuts. scared. We are living in an episode of Black Mirror. This is. Crazy, I am so freaked guys. out. He told me about this, and I'm thinking about it way too much explain I, just, what the heck this is so china here this is the byline here right china is building a digital dictatorship to exert control over its 1.4 billion citizens social credit for some social credit will bring privileges for others punishment there have you guys seen black mirror yeah have you seen black mirror this is well, here, this is basically it. Yeah, here, we'll, we'll read these things. So yeah, this is a pretty this, cool breakdown yes, of what's happening here. But what, what they're doing in a nutshell is your actions, what you consume, what you buy, what you look at. Oh, Louis Hare <laughs> is is giving you almost like a, a social credit score. Like you usually have, you know, your uh, like financial credit score. But this will social. be a social credit score. So there was an episode of Black Mirror like this, and it was really, that's why we were bringing it up. If you haven't seen it, it's amazing. With Bryce Howard, yeah. But yeah, Bryce Dallas Howard, Bryce, yeah. yeah. So, so good. Where you have to be really nice to somebody, or you know, you have to be so moral and, or, and all of that kind of stuff, or it'll inhibit your ability to get a job yeah, or people, make a friend. In, 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 um, in, in Black Mirror, people were reviewing their interactions with yeah, you. Yeah, they'll like upvote you. So like, did you, like, you just walk by someone, did they say something nice to you? Cool, give you a good review, like, and you point to each other like, oh, you know? you're supposed to say something. And if you got bad reviews, you couldn't get, you couldn't rent a house you'd want to rent. Right. You know, there's things you were locked out of, um, yeah, yeah. and you, were, you became a social pariah eventually, yeah. right? Right. And then, so, well, here, here's, is, here's the breakdown. Yeah. Uh, very much the modern Chinese woman, marketing professional. She's diligent and prosperous in many ways. She's a model Chinese citizen. But Don Don is being watched 24 hours a day. Look at these. A vast network of 200 million CCTV cameras million across China ensures cameras. there's no dark corner in which to hide. 200 million Every cameras. Every small step she takes, every one of her actions, big or small, even what she thinks can be tracked and judged. And Don Don says that's fine with her. It's called it social oh, credit and will God. be fully operational by 2020. By 2020. It says it will allow the trustworthy to roam freely under heaven while making it hard for the discredited to take a single step. 
Those at the oh. bottom can be locked out of society and banned from travel or barred from getting credit or government jobs. The top citizens get VIP treatment at hotels, airports, cheap loans, and a fast track to the best universities and jobs. Look, they're scored out of 800 or 900 in the, in the there's a pilot program already in place. Yeah. All right. There's places where they're basically doing this on a beta, but there's actual consequences to it. They're not just giving right. it a shot. They're actually doing it yeah, in places. Yeah, And they want to spread it across all of China. 200 Gosh. million cameras. I know. Guys, with facial recognition technology. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about China where all our technology comes from. So they are ahead, right? Yeah. They yeah. have the technology to do this stuff right, right now. Mm -hmm. This is freaking we, crazy, we and need like, them. and yeah. like you know, it's it's a it's a dictatorship. So you yeah. know that if there's anybody that they want do not want doing certain things, mm -hmm. they could just down their social credit score. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I didn't even think about that. They like, don't have to do anything it. wrong. This could, way. Yeah, done. like I don't like and that Then you guy. can't get anything. So, yeah. and the yeah. fact that the government controls oh. this is. Terrifying. Yeah. It, yeah. Holy yeah. crap. It says uh, at the supermarket, Don Don is browsing the aisles. Even this everyday task will not escape the party's penetrating gaze. Penetrating gaze is penetrating gaze. <laughs> <laughs> oh my ah, god. On fire. Anyway, when social credit is fully implemented, she puts into the trolley what she puts into the trolley can impact her social score. Buying too much alcohol might suggest dependence. She'll lose a couple of points. But buying a pack of nappies might suggest responsibility. Oh, like diapers. She'll gain a few points. The system will be live, so her score will update in real time. Yeah. And that's crazy, too, what? the real time thing. Because what if, like, you have a good score, okay? Yeah. You have a flight book to do some traveling. Mm -hmm. You drive to the airport, um, and, like, something happens. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what could happen. But what, we'll just say yeah. anything could happen, and all the way your score gets lowered, you could show up and not be able to get on the plane. Right. Or, or... Like you could have gotten up late that morning and need uh, an Uber to get to the airport. And because you have a higher score, you could get an Uber faster than somebody with a lower score. Or yeah. you could skip to the front of a yeah. line or you could get VIP treatment to get there. Yeah. So is because everybody's thinking about the negative yeah. of how scary it is. But if you are a genuinely good person, you could really benefit from it. And I think that's what they're going to hang their hat on. Oh, 100%. But that's, still, yeah. you will never, and this is what happens in Black Mirror, you are not yourself. None of your actions are genuine. You're yeah. just, you're acting out. You're putting on whatever face you're supposed of, to put on. Yeah, and that's of, it. A, of a person that's supposed to be like a moral upstanding citizen. So you yeah. could do what you need. But I mean, even thinking about what you Google Oh, yeah, all that you. stuff. My Google search. Oh, my gosh. You guys have streamed with us. And the things that I pull up on my Google. What? Yes, I almost forgot. This what? kind of segues into the fact that Twitch is abruptly blocked in China and is delisted from the local iOS app store. That's right. We were talking about that earlier. That's that just we got announced yesterday. Right. This article is from a few days ago. Right. So, Oh, from the 18th. So two yes. days later, this happens. It's like... Twitch blocked in China. They're 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 sectioning what themselves off. They're going to be this little pocket of like, it's it's oh I don't know. I'm in like, the Brian. I know you, we could talk about like, hey, if you have a good score, you can get good stuff to happen to right. you. But that doesn't exist without people being stepped on. Of course. You know, it's like yeah. it's not like you could just have like people at a certain point like, yeah, the most move these people here. It's like no, yeah, these people have to. You're climbing over yeah, it's like people con to get Conservation there. of matter, basically. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. People are going to be uh, have to suffer as a result for other people to get better treatment. They have to get right. better than somebody, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's I, it's just. I, I am most scared about I, I, the whole concept of it is is crazy to me. Frightening. But I'm most yeah. scared about how this is obviously going to be abused. Oh gosh. You yeah. know. Mm -hmm. and it's yeah. I, I know. don't know. And worse yet, the worst case scenario here mm -hmm. is that in in like in it statistically does a good job. Yeah. Making people safe or like, you know, whatever. And that other countries start to adopt oh, it. Oh, yeah. That, of that would be, that's the worst case scenario They're going scenario to here. say it works beautifully. They are. They won't say like, what a failure that was. But are they going to be know? able to convince somebody else to adopt it? Probably. That's, uh, that's the trick. I because, can think of a handful of countries that I bet would do it. Yeah. You know, well, dictatorships. Off the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of I mean, course. there's several dictatorships that would probably do something yeah, like this. Yeah, I bet. But I it's because it's it's a perfect tool for that. Right. That is like ultimate control, instant control yeah. over people. That is and that's, so and it's got scary its to me. Tendrils into every little piece around. Right. That's so right? nuts. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think about this? I am so so oh. curious to hear your thoughts <laughs> because this this whole thing it just gave me the willies. Yeah. You know, and it, it's hard enough. I mean, those of you who are old enough to have a credit score, it's hard enough yeah. having that credit score 
score cloud over your head. And not only that, the, I mean, if you're comparing it to the credit score system, your credit score, like if you have too many inquiries, if you're shopping, you know, if you're shopping for a car mm -hmm. and you have multiple places check your credit, your score gets lowered yeah. because you're shopping for, you know, multiple options or a house or something, you know, or, you know, say you have like a bad month and you're late on a couple things, you know, you get critiqued. That follows you for a very long time. It does, yeah. five years. Seven years, I thought. Five, seven, five, er, yeah, that... some of them are five to seven. I know okay, uh, okay. Equifax yeah, is there's, five. Yeah, there's probably some specific details in there. I'm but yeah, and you know what, like, oh, guys, I used to work in uh, credit, like yeah. uh, giving out loans and things like that. And the things that I was told to do, like in hindsight, it's so immoral. Like you would look and say like, oh, like this person got laid off three years ago, like what, why, you know, like so people would want to like dig, was it your fault? Why can I call your old boss? Can I ask why? It's like, we're getting a car, you know, yeah. but it's how this kind of follows you around for years. Can you imagine if you have like a mental illness and you have a manic episode or something yeah. and you wind up needing to be hospitalized and then yeah. this, and it hurts your social score yeah. because you possibly had an episode in a public place yeah. and then you're moving past it or whatever and still years down the line, it's haunting you and you can't. Yeah. you know move up in society i feel like that is so so horrible it's crazy but even the way you're where i'm getting with what are bleh, where i'm going with this is that your credit score hovers over your head in such a strong way i can't imagine what something like uh with yeah this and at do. least at least a credit score i mean there's uh there's an is there's a clear reason it exists, right? Sure. I mean, the idea is that a bank loan is going to give you money and they need to f find out some way of determining how likely you are to get that money back to them. Right. Because that's how that works, right? And that's your credit score. Right. Like, how likely are you to pay me back if I give you money? Mm -hmm. Basically that. But, like, that does not, like apply so evenly to a social credit right. uh, score because it's like what are you oh. giving me something and trying to determine how like liable i am to give it back to you yeah yeah it's just really just to say like like here's these things that we decided makes you a good person yeah and who so decides how how like yeah how <laughs> are you so doing subjective. yeah like how is that going yeah who's yeah. the person actually turning the knob yeah like, yeah for that for that uh, Saying you're not a moral person and you they know? could it's change like the the uh the details and change the requirements anytime they want mm -hmm. be like hey you had an 800 score because you were kicking ass the other day right but that company or like that thing you were doing we don't like that anymore so now it's a negative 200 Ooh. points for doing that yeah. thing that could just swing no. different groups of people all so all creepy. over the place so quickly i don't know that's that's I don't crazy know. yeah i just uh i just like the whole thing but the more i think about it the more i hear the think about ways it could go badly you know yeah yeah exactly who your friends and family are will affect your score. If your best friend or your dad says something negative about the government, you will lose points too. Who you date and partner with will also affect social credit. That's, I mean, it's not even you. You don't even have full personal control over it. Yeah. Just being around other people Ugh. that have bad social credit gives you bad social credit. I know. It's a way to silence dissent and ensure the party's absolute dominance. And then absolutely, and like, and they, and they mentioned as one of those examples here, you say something negative about the government. Right. And you will lose score for that. And since you're being recorded all the time, yeah. just saying that, your score, could, you could literally be sitting in your room, say something, right. and it would affect Well, it. you know what I'm finding interesting about this is that the, the impetus that they're saying is or the impetus that they're using is to say you need to be a loyal Chinese citizen. Not a good person, mm. not a good uh, moral, per yeah, nothing about morality. You're not, you're not altruistic. A loyal, yeah. Yes, a loyal Chinese citizen. Yeah. So that's what the what the impetus is for the whole thing. And that and that freaks me out because yeah. it's about like government control. And, oh yeah, they could set those metrics to mean whatever they wanted it to mean. Yeah. A loyal Chinese citizen could mean anything they say it would mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that is the crux of the entire system. Yup. Oh God. Okay, it's time for the subreddit of the week. And uh, it's well, that sucks. That, that's the first choice to be the article we just read. Yeah. So it's kind of like a, you know, where you see something, you go like, oh, that sucks for that guy. You know, that <laughs> okay. kind of thing. For example, new skeleton found in Pompeii. This guy was running from the eruption when a 300, oh God, what is that? Kilogram. Kilogram. Boulder hit, <laughs> I know, we use freedom <laughs> units here. Kilogram boulder hit him in the face. Look. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Like wow. he was just running and they're like. Well, yeah. at least that means it was quick. It was probably quick. That is an excellent point.
Because a lot Better of other people burning. probably died slowly. Better than burning. Most of the people probably died yeah, pretty slowly. Yeah, that's so true. That's so true. Uh, oh, look at this. Nothing but trouble. Not only have I had countless issues getting plates for a truck that's nothing but trouble, when I finally get the plates, they say, eight dicks, 24-7. <laughs> In the, in the show me state. In oh the my show god. Me state. <laughs> Eight dicks 24 7. That sucks. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's pretty funny though. That's oh pretty funny. Oh my god. Like, what do you do? Do you bring you know, it back like, and you're like, do you really want me to like use Eight dicks 24 7. Like, right People probably think you got like like a custom plate yeah. behind yeah. you. Like, Ooh. oh, you think you're funny, huh? Uh -huh. I like this one. All that work for nothing. Dropped him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he oh. dropped him right on the face. Oh no! That's so sad. You know what that is? You know what that is? What? You know if you like work really hard on a meal, okay, yeah. and spill it. <gasps> yeah. That's terrible. Like dropping the chili in the office, the big pile. Of, yeah. That's like that times ten. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You know? Because yeah. at least that's one night of work. Oh. That was more than one night of work. Oh totally. Clearly. Totally. Maybe. No, that is or maybe this is someone just. Nah, whatever. Oh, you know what I'm <laughs> look at his face. I would leave it like that. Display. It's like, it's like, like a angry. glass. Just like his <laughs> friend face up against a glass. I know. He's angry about it. Oh, I thought this was funny. You haven't unlocked this area yet. Is that a funny <laughs> title? Like you just can't walk in the. It's just a. <laughs> you just walk right into the invisible. Invisible walls, walls yeah. Yeah, I thought that was clever. That's great. Thanks for your help, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look how they just stand there. They're like, uh. Okay. Hey! Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and it finally <laughs> fell on its side. Oh, oh my geez. gosh. I was almost like Ace Ventura, like, like a glove. Like a glove. Almost. Almost. Yeah. The whole, like, like how the Right at the end, it was like, I got up. it. I got it. I got it. Right there. Like, yeah. Everything's going okay. It just flips right oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Unforeseen weather. <laughs> look at the dog. The dog is so mad. What the heck? And look at the smile on the top when he's like, he's like, I know, yeah, like, like, we're going for a ride in the like, car. He's like, oh distraught. God. I'm cold. I'm going inside. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> look at this one. This is my nightmare. Good morning. Oh, God. This just gives me anxiety. You don't know how many times, like, this has occurred to me. <laughs> like, what would happen if this whole thing... Yeah, but like, like, if they're yeah. done right, that should never happen. Oh, for sure. But, I mean, you trust that they're done right. Yeah, you don't know if they're done right them. until they fall or don't fall, right? <sighs> Fortunately, we don't see this happen very often, so I'd have no. to say this is a pretty unusual circumstance. But yeah, that's terrible. That was probably so loud. Yeah. They probably thought like a car crash. Oh my God, I'd be terrified. Like if we were that. upstairs or something like that, or even down here, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and we were like heard, heard that, that on the floor next to us, like, oh. yeah, I'd be terrified. Ugh. Okay, don't leave. Don't go anywhere. I want to watch Mary Poppins. <laughs> okay, we're going to watch Captain Marvel. I promise, I promise. But, but Mary Poppins, but Mary it Poppins. came out. And I have been trying to not watch this trailer because one, if you don't know already, I'm a Disney nut. I love Mary Poppins. She was my favorite. Like, you know, everybody had their favorite Disney princess. I loved Mary Poppins. She's practically perfect in every way. So a little tape measure. Oh my gosh, she's got the magic bag with the lamp in it. I love it. I'm very particular. <laughs> about Mary Poppins. So, and this is not a sequel. Okay. Uh, or, or no, it's not a remake. It's like a sequel type thing from so what actually I'm understanding. Is a sequel. Okay. Yeah, so the things that happened in the original movie still happened. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. And what I'm seeing is that Dick Van Dyke is in this. Oh, really? Yes, which no makes way. me really excited. Yeah, okay. I saw some gifts going around and with, with, his, with his horrible Cockney <laughs> accent. I know, so, so bad. And you know what's really terrible is he was my first introduction to a Cockney accent, uh, like most of us in the United States. And we thought that's what they all sounded like. <laughs> and then it's like, oh. That's why you always you really can't be doing Cockney accent. You're like, I'll clean your chimney, I will, I will. That's I <laughs> it's, it's directly <laughs> straight from right. Yeah. I'm sure everybody over in the UK is thrilled with that. I know, I know. <laughs> it's terrible. But, ugh, I know. So I'm so, so excited. If they have any of, like, the same music or any... Oh, my God, I want to lose my mind. All right. Stop talking, Liz. Stop talking, Liz. It's a castle. 
Wait, 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 I'm not plugged in! I was streaming last <laughs> night. Stop! Lucy turned up the volume like, what the heck? I can't hear this thing. Oh my gosh, I was streaming and I had the hats on. All <laughs> right, let's disaster. go again. Let's go again. All right. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, my English horn. I honestly can't remember why we kept most of this stuff to begin with. Don't you remember that kite? We used to love flying. Are they Jane and, and Michael? Father. Those days are long behind me. Are they Jane and Michael? Hey, is that, um... Lin-Manuel. Wow. That's why I live and breathe. Oh my god. I was uh oh. Got caught on Looks like the same house. Mary. Poppins. Who came back? You seem hardly to have aged at all. Really? One never discusses a woman's age, Michael. Would have hoped I taught you better. Oh my god. <laughs> what brings you here? My heart can't take time. it. Same thing that brought me the first time. I've come to look after the bank's children. Us? Oh yes, you too. We're about to lose our home. Everything's fallen to pieces since your mother. I miss mother. <gasps> Nothing's gone forever. Is she gonna sing to them? Of place. Oh my god. It's a good thing you come along when you did, Mary Poppins. How'd you do that? Do what? I'm like gulping. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. So you've been off filling the children's heads with stuff and nonsense. You've forgotten what it's like to be a child. Oh! Hey! Mary! Oh, shriek, no way! Oh! Everything is possible. Even the impossible. Oh my Off god. We go. I'm gonna cry through the whole thing. I'm gonna cry through the entire thing. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm watching this and I'm gulping. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was that Angela? Ooh. Let me go forward. Was that Angela Lansbury? Where? Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is gonna, this is gonna drive me nuts. I have to, I have to slide through. Oh my gosh. Is this not your thing, Matthew? We're going. <laughs> we yeah, are totally clearly, going. Yeah, clearly, clearly we're going. Oh my I, gosh. I gotta say, it's, Did I go she far? seems like, kind of just seems like Mary Poppins. Well, I hope so, because, oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. Hold on. I mean, it seems like Emily Blunt's gonna do a really good job. I hope so, but. Just, just based so on that trailer. She's supposed to be. Like her mannerism, you know? Yeah, so she's supposed to be the same Mary Poppins if Julie Andrews, oh my God, makes a cameo in this. Oh my God. You're gonna have to carry me home. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm gonna be bawling. Like, that is unbelievable. Any other Disney nuts out there that are just like over the moon about this who like love Mary Poppins and Dick and Van Dyke's in it. That's I so know. cool. Oh, oh my God. And Colin Firth's in it? Yeah. Wow. I know. Oh gosh, because they had like suffragettes and anything, like and, and everything. It was so, so cool. Did you watch it a ton? Did your sisters watch it I did not it watch a it a ton, no. I've seen it, but I haven't watched it. I've probably seen it more since we've been together than it, because you just started putting it on sometimes. I love Mary Poppins. <laughs> and they were just Stop like, oh, Mary time. Poppins is on again. Is it Angela That's Lansbury? That's totally Angela Lansbury. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh my God. And she's one of the Disney legends. Oh my God. She was Mrs. Potts. She was in Bedknobs and That's Broomsticks. That's right. She's Mrs. Does Potts. Does anybody know Bedknobs and Broomsticks? If oh my you do, God, yeah. Put it in the comments. I loved Bedknobs and Broomsticks. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even think about, I can't even think about this anymore. <laughs> I am like I'm losing my mind. Who gave this thumbs down? A lot of people I gave it thumbs down. I will punch you in the face. 6.5k. Some people are going to be like, nobody can replace. Oh yeah, a lot Julie of people. Julie Andrews. Yeah, you're Why right. mess with a good thing? You know, a lot of people feel that way. Yeah, Which but you I know what? Understand, but but this is like a franchise. This has been kind of floating out there. That like it kind of makes sense. Like you know, you could do this again. Yeah. And it would make sense and it would work. Maybe. You know, like you could Maybe. probably do it. So I, I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, I bet they could pull this off. Yeah. Maybe it's just seeing the trailer. Because seeing the trailer is kind of like, they kind of look like they're going to pull this off. Yeah, but but you know what, though? 
She has some, Emily Blunt has some huge shoes to fill. Yeah. Some humongous, because Julie Andrews was like perfection. Yeah, but the Julie perfect. Andrews perfect. archetype doesn't exist now. No. She might be the closest, as maybe. a matter of fact. Maybe. Just based on the kind of movies she does, you yeah. know, what her background is. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Like, I can you know, see that. it's, 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 what she does isn't as popular as it was when Julie Andrews did it. Right, right, you right. You know, but like yeah. when it was the biggest thing in showbiz, oh you know, but like, now, I guess maybe she's kind of a natural pick for this. Make me sweat Julie Andrews and Angela Lansbury and Dick Van Dyke and Lynn manuel Miranda. It's making me sweat. <laughs> Moving on, Captain Moving on. Marvel. Captain Marvel. Finally, finally. Oh my gosh. I have been hearing so much about this trailer. Yes. And we've been staying away from it. It's been out for about like three, four days now. Yeah. So let's go take a look. Okay. Boom. Drama. Oh. Blockbuster! Oh my gosh, so it's the 90s. Blockbuster video. Oh man. I had my Blockbuster card, man. Yeah, I mine's somewhere too. Yeah, I had it in my wallet for War years. The universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Is that Sammy J? Sammy J, yeah, Sammy's Nick Fury. Space invasion. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. Oh. <gasps> so you're not from her. I was younger. It's yeah. hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. Wow. Jude, Jude Law. We have no idea oh. what threats are out there. Yes, <laughs> alone. We need you. I'm not what you think I am. Yeah, ladies! Yeah! Do they have a little snip snap right at the end after her? No? No, no snip they snap. they don't. You know what? Did this not where it said discover? Did it not look like the discover card? <laughs> Wait, where is where like, that? I know, did you see that? No, 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 no. it says discover, discover here. It looks, it, like the it discover looks like card. Discover card. I was like, is there ad product placement? <laughs> credit this, card. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, buy a credit card. Did we have a Discover card? I have never known anybody that had a Discover card. Me neither. I don't think about it. Me neither. No. Are no they still a thing? I don't know. But why are we talking about that right now? When because this is the 90s. Was, they were thinking of the 90s. Right. <laughs> discover. <laughs> you know, why not Discover card if they're doing Blockbuster? Yeah, exactly. Discover card. Right. But wow. So Looks why really cool. is she punching an old lady? I think um, the, uh, like, there's a uh, there's I characters like in this cool. world that are shapeshifters, so I'm assuming that would have something oh, to do with it. Oh, uh, the right. scroll, 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 right? right? Yeah, scroll. Yeah, they're think, like an alien. Yeah, type I don't know much. Type thing. Her. I don't. Her. I don't know and much about Captain hero. Marvel to be honest. Um, I but, um, love that. That's so cool. But Marvel has, you know, I don't know a lot about a lot of comic books. It's just uh, the Marvel movies uh, are made in such a way that it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still really entertaining, really cool to watch. They do them really well, and they're always filled with all sorts of Easter eggs for people that do know a lot about it so i oh, see gosh, why that people yeah. are so into it but and, uh, jude law how about jude that? law yeah where has he been yeah. oh yeah look a, a pager, pager. A, oh no well they actually were able to write things in oh there. texting so okay a, uh, yeah so they have a little text machine what's all this about yeah there's just Lots a lot going on here and other you can't tell the settings in a lot of the area. I mean, like, and then she clearly has amnesia, right? They said that she was had flashes of memory. Right. Didn't so know if what she, if, if, if things really or... happened. She, but she thinks she may have had a life there. Yeah. Sammy Jay's in it, but he's younger. So she's working with the uh, agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are in this. Office. Yeah, but I think that in this part, he's not the leader of it yet. I think he's just kind of like works for mm. S.H.I.E.L.D. That's quite a, sh a good shot right here. Though. Yeah, Although it looks really like cool it shot. looks like a weed it. And then she's like, <laughs> and then she's there. 
If but it's really cool. Saying, and then Brie Larson. That's that's a, that's a cool choice. She's got an Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. I got so an Oscar winner doing su- doing a superhero movie yeah. now. Yeah. And a lot of them have. Nicole Kidman was an Aquaman. Oh, that's and, right. You know, there's others who are yeah you know, have gotten Oscars. Oh, I mean, who are Iron Man. To this. You know, we're uh, yeah. Um, you um. My Gwyneth God. Paltrow? Yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. Well, you know what's really odd about this? Because I, I saw this going around, and in all of the, um, you know, the stills of Captain Marvel, she's got this look on her face. And somebody told her to smile more. Can you believe Where did you that? see that? It's some reporter or something. It was going around. Oh, Why isn't Brie Larson smiling? And somebody went through and photoshopped smiles onto her face and also onto like Iron Man and everybody else and they look <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's silly. It's whatever. You know, and it's like really you're going to tell her to smile more. Yeah, so there's always going to be, you know, the nitpickers yeah, yeah, yeah. who are just kind of like, that's hey, dumb. the girl she's got to smile more. It's like, oh my god, get out of my face with that. So I, I hope that she's ready to receive some some salt. Talk about what we were talking about. I don't about know. I, Wonder salty. Woman did incredibly. Yeah, I, I still think so there will always be... So we have precedent right now be... for a superhero movie led by a woman to do not only like as well, but better. Yeah. You know, she was doing but better than the But can they do one. it a second time? You know, well, sometimes it's, it's people not don't DC like now. more than one. You know, it's yeah, not DC yeah. this time. It's Marvel this time. It'd be interesting to see how it works. And Wonder Woman was a much bigger character than Captain Marvel. Right. At least... For me, growing up, mm-hmm. I was familiar with Wonder Woman. I was not oh, familiar sure. with Captain Marvel. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And besides, this That's is going to work its way into the universe that they have already built. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know, could be great. There's been some offshoots that are like even independent of their role in the larger universes that have been considered really great movies. So yeah. it's it's possible this could just be up there with them. And they, they hit more often than miss. Sure, you know, that's very movies, true. So, yeah. you, know. you know, as far as I mean, it's not a, a comic movie, but I was just reading something earlier today that said um, Disney and Star Wars said that they're going to pull it back a little bit and mm-hmm. not release as many Star Wars movies because people they were going to do one a year. Yep. And they were like, let's wait a little They had bit. been doing one a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were like, we got to like cool it yeah. with all of this. So, but this kind of stuff is is not slowing down really, mm-hmm. and it's interesting. But that that happened happened with Star Wars and not with this. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm kind of curious as to why that is. If you guys have any well, idea, put in the comments. I feel like well Star Wars didn't have as many stories to tell. Um, oh, there's so many different offshoots very that all come they're together. They're trying, though. They're trying. Yeah, but but Marvel. That's trying. the thing. There's they're trying, offshoots. but they're forcing it. They are forcing. right, and like, and they're telling old stories that are like, like the Han Solo thing. It's like, okay, but be, do we need this? You yeah. know, but like, they couldn't tell anything else about Han Solo. Right. Um, but like with this. There's so many independent stories happening, mm-hmm. and they all still fit together in the same universe. That this is actually the, per- and I mean, there's so much material yeah. that's a perfect kind of situation where they can only use the best stuff because there's way more right? they could just ignore and find the best stories and tell those stories. And it's the perfect uh, setting for there to be that many things happening at once and still manage to work. Right. Because in Star Wars, like, you know, they had to tell... There's some other cool stories they were starting to tell, but they're just trying to come up with them and they're trying to make the universe bigger. And one of the coolest things about Star Wars was the... the it was really just that main story track, mm-hmm. you know? And, like, you know, Luke Skywalker, you know? And, they, and they've been doing it's a good green, job yeah. of bringing it, bringing it up, bringing it back, but the distance between them actually had, was so big a part of was, the buildup. You had that height. Yeah, you when it finally happened, like, oh yeah. my god, there's going to be another Star Wars. Yeah. You know, and it was such a like, big deal. The Marvel movies, I almost think, like, it's become the Avengers movies. Oh, sure. You know, like, mm-hmm. the, that's kind of been their main track, yeah, and everything else is kind of ancillary. Into, yeah, and it comes into it. So it, yeah. the next Avengers movie, it's like, there's another one coming, mm. and like, yeah, and it's it's kind of its huh. own brand of thing, but Star Wars imitating that hasn't worked. Yeah, they're it like doesn't doing fit it the same way. They're like doing it in reverse. Yeah, exactly. Of what everybody else is. Yeah, doing. yeah. The, the, we have decades and decades right. of stories that have already been told that they just can pull from. Be like, now we're going to tell this one. Right. right Instead right. of having to come up with new stuff from scratch constantly mm-hmm. and hoping it works. Right. 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 You know, like the, it's almost like the the Marvel stuff is already a proven concept. Yeah. They're just putting it on the screen. Right. You know, and like yeah. nobody knows those other Star Wars stories would be any good. True. And there's mixed reviews there. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm still a big Star Wars fan. I still can't wait for that. Same. Stuff, but. 
saying. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That was that episode we talked for too long. I'm sorry. Yes, lots to talk about. I'm yeah, dying to know your guys' thoughts in the comments on all of this stuff because, yeah. oh my gosh, like Telltale and then this this crazy thing happening in China and oh my gosh, like unbelievable. And esports on ESPN e-sports Magazine. And, like, yeah, I know. It's it, pretty it's cool. Like, things are getting like crazy. A lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, yeah. if, and if there's anything you want to talk about, please put it in the comments. And uh, if you like this video, yeah. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye. Bye.